Bhagwan people, today we're using the Scania R 2009 with a R560 horsepower engine on a 4x2 chassis. Now we're gonna be carrying some empty pallets. We just hop up in the truck and let me see. I can't even remember what I was carrying it right. Um, we're in Bremen right now and no, Bremen is the destination, right? Bremen is the destination. So we'll be going to Bremen with empty pallets, 22 tons of empty pallets, right? And we have 19 hours and 42 minutes to get there. We, for sure we will get there, so let me do worry. All right, let me back up and get the get the trailer on the truck. Alright, attach. talk a little about um, 1.40 lighting the lighting is amazing but I have one problem with it the lighting when the Sun is right up I find it look like overexposure I don't know if it's me but I find they could tone down the amount of light for it not to look that kind of way right but um Outside of that, I like how the night time does look, early morning does look real pretty, real good, nice. Alright, um, I like the, um, the way how I think they just put, I think some place is, is, is ATS, boy. Uh, I think I see it more in ATS than ETS, where when I go in the yards, I see trucks park up in the yards. I can't recall seeing any trucks in the yard on the, in the base game in 1.40 in ETS. I can't remember. I could be wrong here. Eh? I can't remember. Right? So I don't know if anybody report that lighting problem to them. Or if it's me alone find that it looked that way. Right. One more addition I have to my um, setup, I should be getting a HK SKRS shifter this week. I went with the Simu shift shifter. I hope that um, it will add another level of realism to the trucking experience. So when I get it now, I would. Um, do a little unboxing on the channel to show it off so look forward to the unboxing anybody who does tune in to the channel look forward to the unboxing hopefully it should be out late this week or early next week Let's see if I overshoot the line. Ooh, perfect stop, man. Perfect stop. I thought I'd overshoot. Perfect stop. Right. Let me look at the light. Right. Now, I know some people will get a little confused when they see me driving some of the trucks and they think, well, this guy just like just driving trucks at random. Let me bring a little clarity to how some of the videos and them um, to make let it make a little sense now the white truck 
the white Scania S that I'll be using, that truck would only be carrying ownable trailers on it. Alright, so right now I only have a Kurt Insider on on that profile. So that is so I carrying cut inside anything to go any cut inside I will be carrying for the while until I get enough money to buy a low boy or a refrigerated trailer or any other ownable. Right? So that is how I would be running that profile. So once you see that white truck you know it's ownable trailers are running there. I'm going over to ATS now. Now ATS that red truck would be I would be running that truck to make money to buy a next truck, right? I don't know what other truck I might buy if it might be the Western Star or the other new one that they brought out. I can't even remember the name off and right now, right? But one out of the two I would buy when I make enough money on that profile. So those two profiles don't have as much money on them. But this profile that I'm using, that I'll be posting videos, that I'll be seeing random trucks you know, I would just like fix that truck and just carry a load. That this profile, no, I could do anything on it because you have a lot of money on it, so I could do anything on it. But the other two profile, um, I would be driving and making money and building it out. So the one on the the white Scania would be building out to only do ownable trailers, right? Would I be low boy refrigerator coat insider? Right? I think he have a log trailer too. I could be building it out for just doing that. And then I could kind of put a little bit more structure to it where I'm gonna show you all where I put what trailer, you know, what part of the map and you know and that sort of stuff. Right? So that is about it. So let me see if I could get this um, this low to destination safe without any incidents.
are nearly right that club there, boy. All right, we're still safe, we're still safe. I didn't damage anything in the trailer. Make a U-turn right there and then back it into a place. Take my time and get it in. Make sure it's right where the customer wants it. Alright, I'll go, I'll go forward a little. I'll touch it a little against it. Could have a better parking, but I'll call it a wrap. So I'll see you in the next one.